If you look at history going all the way back to the tulip bubble one theme rings out loudly, the experts always claim to know exactly when the market is going to crash. Interestingly these same jackasses had no idea as to when the market would take off, but suddenly they have become experts regarding when the stock market should and must crash. Hidden in this rhetoric is a hidden theme that the masses in most cases fail to spot otherwise, these snake oil salesmen would have been out of business long ago, these chaps were wrong so many times that had you listened to them you would have bankrupted yourself several times over. Note that even a broken clock is correct twice a day, depending on whether you follow standard or military time. Hence even if they eventually get it right, you would have been blown out of the water long time ago. Fear and misery love company, so this is the favorite question of those individuals who love to live in the world where negativity is the order of the day. If you live in the if world, you will miss all that is taking place around you and that includes opportunity. You will be so busy looking for any reason to justify that things won't work at that even if opportunity slapped you in the face, you would notice it. In short, one should never panic when it comes to investing. If you use common sense and take a few prudent measures, you won't have to deal with such a scenario. We always believe that stock market crashes are nothing but opportunities in disguise and covered this topic in the following article. If experts could predict the exact time markets would crash, they would not be telling you, they would be busy playing the markets and making a fortune. Because they can't predict anything other than the fact that you will buy their crap, they come on TV and spout out the same crap over and over again, hoping by some miracle they will be right once, so that they can use that one event to advertise their heightened powers of prediction. This excerpt from an article we pinned clearly reveals our take on experts we have one expert after another predicting that it is time for the markets to crash, mind you these same chaps sang this same terrible song of gloom in 2015, 2016 and now they are singing it with the same passion in 2017. There is one noteworthy factor, though, a few former bulls have joined the pack. Does this now mean that the markets are going to crash? Apparently not, well, at least if you look at the indices, as of Jan the market continues to trend higher. Furthermore, what is a crash or for that matter a pullback or a correction? Does it not all boil down to a perception? One individual could view it as a crash, while the other views it as a mild correction and an opportunity to purchase more shares. It would all depend on when you jumped into this market. If you embrace this bull market in 2016, then a pullback in the 10% to 15% ranges would feel like a crash. On the other hand, if you embrace this beast, stock market bull, anywhere from 2009 to 2011, it would seem like a mild orderly correction. Most experts almost gleefully try to force their twisted perceptions on everyone. Just because the experts decide to label it as a crash does not mean you should follow their lead, experts are known for getting it wrong all the time. In fact, experiments have shown that monkeys throwing darts at a random list of stocks fare much better than Wall Street experts. Hence, take their so-called sage advice with a barrel of salt. If the stock market crashed and dropped by over 20% or even as much as 30% what would you do? Jump and down with joy for when there is blood in the streets, the prudent investor backs the truck up and purchases all the quality companies the masses are dumping. Stock market crashes are nothing but hidden opportunities waiting to be discovered that the smart money hopes the masses will never figure out. We pinned another that deals with this topic very nicely, an excerpt is provided below a market crash can be viewed as a monumental tragedy or a splendid opportunity depending on what side of the fence you sit on. If you decided to pour all your money into the market close to the top, then it would be viewed as a tragic event. If on the other hand, you got in early and as the market trended higher, you banked some of your profits then it would be viewed as a grand opportunity. Crisis investing dictates that all disasters are nothing but opportunities change the lens and the picture changes. Always remember that fear mongers are paid handsomely to stampede the masses, for that is when the smart money makes the biggest killing. For them to make a killing they have to fleece thousands upon thousands of small players.
In some cases they go for the juggler and fleece millions, two examples come to mind, the dot-dot-com bubble and the housing bubble.